I simply co-signed that. Yeah. All right. Let's come in hot. Hey, man. We talked about on the last show, um, this Gerard Carmichael thing. We ended it there. Episode two is dropped. Hey, man. I'm starting out to like this dude, yo. No, I and you're too hard, D. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He. It's. It, this is corny, man. This is corny shit, yo. And I thought, you, and you know what? Because I always thought he was a clever comedian. He was looking at things from different angles and, you know, somewhat like a Chris Rock kind of coming up type of a cerebral comedian. But all this shit right now is just corny, B. This is mm-hmm. corny, yo. And, it, and once again, I got to preface it. You know what I'm saying? Even though shout out to people that were saying that we had a great conversation with the last time on this. It's not because he's gay. This is corny, man. This is yeah. corny behavior. So I, I I sent you a message saying that, hey, my homeboy that is gay said that the show was cringy, you know? So he's like, okay, good. You know, it wasn't anything yeah, like that. Yeah, I was like, like man, it's not like, tripping. It's not my privilege. I, I, I think at this point in the game, I... You know, I saw something where people were trying to figure out if this is just another form of exploitation, which I can see how they got there um, based on his trauma and, you know, him being a late, you know, gay bloomer. Mm-hmm. Um, he even talks about that in his episode, too, which was yeah. interesting. And so I, I think what's alarming and a little concerning about this is I I just had my homeboy that is into different types of kinks on whiskey soured. Shout out to Darren. Make uh, sure you go over there and subscribe to St. Right, Angeles. Sure go over there and subscribe. And if you want to go to this particular episode, it is called Sex Toys in the Dishwasher. But you know. I feel like even my friend mentioned a little thing about se- like slave play a little bit uh, in his, when he interacts with white women and I don't like stuff like that. Like I understand kinks and all this stuff and I'm not trying to yuck nobody's yum kink shame or anything like that, but it's a little bizarre. There, there's certain things when you understand the real history of slavery, you know, them using babies as alligator baits, mm-hmm skinning us you know using our skin for and chair. that's why it sounds corny that that's why it's corny man so I, I'm, you're supposed to be smarter than that that's corny man that's corny this, shit. yes so at this point i'm a little concerned which goes back to what we said yes we are he's in therapy we see a, a little bit of what's happening hey man and he's him. worse than the nigger too he's worse than he's worse than the niggerish of the niggers like they are straight he don't give a fuck about his mate <laughs> yeah yeah and, and so it's this weird i f- okay i say something i feel like he is doing that and probably dating in that white guy to kind of feel like he and because he is the breadwinner it gives him a level of power so that's no, the whole no, other thing though, he wants that he want is that why he you think he's maybe not dating someone but it's like that Flip thing where dudes when they date a, a white woman is like, oh, I, I'm getting some back from the white man type feel. You think it's think that it's, same I, type of thing? I, think, I don't even. I don't. I don't necessarily even think it's that. I think. But it's it's, just it, like, that's a stereotype, y'all. For those people that are, yeah. we're saying it's a stereotype that people think when this happens. I don't even think it's that. I think for me, I think it's just the power dynamic. So this is the the one place where because he is a breadwinner, he mentions that the boy is in school and whatnot, and is in Iowa. He's wherever he is, New York, between LA and New York, working on different projects and continuously like cheating on him. And like, so funny, shout out to Jamar Neighbors. He's an Aquarius. Uh, and his homeboy, Jamar. Oh, he is? Yeah. I didn't know he was. Yeah, Jamar is an Aquarius. Um, oh, this makes total sense now. <laughs> yeah. And so. Well, he looked, when he said, the, he looked at him, that's some shit you'd be like. Yeah. And so I, I believe I believe that I believe that one, I don't think that Jabbar Carmichael should be dating anybody because 
you are there. We said this last week. You were looking outward when you need to look inward. After they broke up, this motherfucker go get on the table. <laughs> he go back on chat and call somebody. So you clearly, you are looking for quick fixes to solve your problems. And it's just making it worse. It's really crazy because... Like you said, very talented guy, kind of witty. But now we're seeing him. And I know this sound is it's it's I think why we cringe at it and why we are feeling like he's corny. And I don't I'm not gonna say that he's corny. I just told you I feel like he is a lost soul. I feel that he is a lost soul and he is searching for something and he has to search within himself to find whatever it is that he's looking for. And a lot of that comes with reconciling or whatever with his mother, because there's a sense of abandonment there too. So, which is why he's acting the way that he's acting. He's lashing out. And unfortunately it's happening in his thirties when if he had come out sooner, he probably would have had some sort of resolve by now. So we kind yes. of have to and maybe that's why it's corny because I'm looking at damn yeah. near 40 year old man doing yeah. monkey shit. I'm literally, literally and figuratively, you know, stuff. Yes. So I like even if this dude doing this, and if he was straight, like if he was not a dude, but like a, a straight man was up, like, dude, you what are you doing? This is corny, dude. You just yes. running around with chick to chick, dropping by the spot. Like, what are you doing? Like, like this is this is hazardous. Like, it is. Look, man, it is. This is, and it is, and these are men you just bringing up in your career. So you know, with and even though I even though there is a gay, it is a gay relationship. There is a higher threshold of danger when you have another testosterone person there just because it's test testosterone testosterone. And I'm scared to let a whole bunch of women come through like that. Let alone a whole bunch of dudes. So you're you're putting it your life more in danger. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so crazy how that that shift happens when we. No, but it's still another dude. You, fight, you still fighting another dude. I don't care if he. No, 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 no. Or whatever. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. It's so funny how the the things that we were. I'm not gonna say oblivious to, but not as in tune with growing up or like or in our twenties, uh, versus what it looks like now so I'm, I'm thinking of so many different things just like you okay testosterone two males fighting um you're trying robbed. to rob him think about no trying to right. rob him and you, and you can live in this secure building security guard at the door concierge service all of that that is all you can do all of that have all of that is you can still become susceptible to crime in those places like so this see. is the crazy thing i'm gonna give you this crazy story about this so shout out to my homegirl nikki she's retiring from the army um okay. she worked for the government and everything so she was an investigator you know like the actual army uh policemen but not the not the mps but the investigators like they're detectives so like jag okay. and all that stuff, but it's for the army so okay. she would investigate stuff so one of her cases, or no, when she was in training, she was telling me it was a case they had to watch. It was a military guy, met a guy at a bar. He was gay. This is way before, this is don't ask, don't tell time for okay. the army. That he comes back, has sex with the guy. The guy's literally, he's literally, so, but, uh, so they literally straddling the guy. So the only reason they know about all this stuff is, and I'll tell you in a second, he stabs the guy, he's straddling him and is like missionary and stabbing him while he's fucking him. The only reason that they were able to find, because this guy was a random guy he picked up at a bar in like the, the town where he was stationed at. The only reason they were able to find out who this guy was, because he secretly was recording them having sex. <gasps> the military guy was. That got killed. But it was another dude having sex with him. He was missionary on him. And he was literally pumping on him and stabbing him at the same time, she said. <sighs> and so blood is gushing up why he's why he's fucking. And they found it on the phone and it was a he it, got no, no phone. This is back in the 90s. This is an old thing. This is Turner training. Oh, he so had it, like it, a, a whole old video camera was covered up with like pillows and stuff on like the thing. So you could they say you could only see him from the back. So let's say it was on a dresser, and so you can see the blood scattering spattering up while he's while he's like hitting it. 
hitting them. And everything. And the only reason they didn't, because the guy cleaned himself up, looked damn near right in the camera almost, because but he didn't know it was a camera there. That was how that, they said they would have never found out who that guy was if it wasn't for that. So my point is, he was just bringing his random guy home, and he was a military dude and got killed. Damn. By somebody and stabbed yeah. up. But that's going into my point. I'm saying with Gerard, you just can't be bringing, and, and I wouldn't do that with women. So how are you doing this with, with dudes? I'm just saying, you know, um, it's just corny, man. With all this, it's, this it's stuff, a it's a weird. Just, it's a weird. Um, <clears throat> and he made a point. He's 17 you know, and gay, wait, or whatever. But but you're, but just because you're 17 and gay don't mean you're not 38 years old in real life. <laughs> yeah, I I also believe that. So uh, this is another episode of my podcast because my homeboys got catfish trying to hook up with a guy on Jacked. And they went to his house and he opened the door and he didn't look the same. What so, do you mean didn't look the same? I mean, I was, that's, that's the thing. Oh, the catfish, like a filter, it was like a filter catfish? I, I, I think the little, I think the pictures were older. And but oh, then but cool. we talk about it. I can't remember all the ins and outs, but I do remember this key piece where they went into the bathroom, him and his husband, and was like, they was just, you know, how you know, talking with your fingers, talking with your eyes, not trying to be, you know, loud. Uh so hold on, with him and his husband. So it was it was supposed to be a threesome then? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It threw me off. It's, I didn't it just yeah, threw me sorry. off. Very so it was a threesome. And he said that they were that you know they were you know trying to figure out like that's not the dude from the picture. What is this? Blah blah. blah. We need to roll and out. that's when I told him, I said, Do you know how I was like as funny as this is? I was like, I just want to mind you how dangerous this is. Because you guys could have gotten set up and attacked because because of stuff like that you cannot be out here like that and and men men i i believe that sometimes it doesn't cross their minds that certain things can happen to them as opposed to women yes, but where right. we have you're to always correct. yep you also I, always have to be on score yeah we always have to be on high alert and so i i'm going to assume that that hasn't crossed his mind yet because you are correct. He is moving very recklessly, but there's a piece of me that has uh, empathy for him. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to look at who I, 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 I his manager him. is, and I'm going to find that book where they talk about uh, it was called like the, what is it of a Negro or something where they talk about what happened, what really happened during slavery. Oh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of books like that. There's um, a book, but it, it it talks about we don't have to send him some books. And he's like, yeah, we encourage you. But yeah, we know you bought books off of Amazon that you're not gonna read, Gerard. But maybe if you get gifted, see, a book, that was my thing, and I was assumption that he was a red dude that would know and be conscious of all that shit, just from the way he presented himself as a comedian, as an artist. But maybe people, he wasn't this whole people, time, and that was my assumption. But people, I I think people believe. <laughs> That they know about slavery, but then they but then they find out that they really don't. Because once you really start going in to the gruesome history, that's why white people want that shit erased because they're afraid that other you're gonna have to start talking about, like we said, killing more than hanging and beating people, uh and and making people, you know, work against their will uh against their will shipping them of their uh language and heritage or things that's how people i think that's a surface level of slavery but when you talk about when you start talking about how those slave masters was raping women raping the women raping the men uh mm -hmm. you know getting them impregnated and and that's like how they be romanticizing uh sally hemmings with thomas jefferson and, and we like to, that we like, so we like to glitz over things, but like that. Hey y'all, if you like what you see here on Everyone Needs an Aquarius, be sure to hit that button right there. It'll take you to more clips and be sure to like, subscribe, and share our podcast. See you back next time.
Hey y'all, if y'all like what y'all see here on Everyone Needs an Aquarius, be sure to like, subscribe, and share our podcast with your friends because we got all the tea. And you know, if you want to check out more stuff from us, be sure to hit that button right there, right there on the right side so you can see other stuff and again, share, share with everybody.